Hi, I'm Merritt. Welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you're new. I'm glad that you're here. Uh, today I am planning in my work happy planner. This is a big uh, dashboard happy planner. Um, I have decided that for the month of March in my work planner, I'm kind of going monochromatic. I uh, didn't happen on purpose. It was just the first two spreads that I did uh, ended up that way. Might not make it the whole month. Maybe it wasn't the first two. Second two spreads that I did were monochromatic. So I'm just going to kind of go with it. Um, I used last week, I used sage, did the greens for St. Patrick's Day. And then the previous week, I did these blues from Simply Lovely. The week before, it was, it was bright. Um, but so I thought that this week, I would use indigo. Um, the pink on the spread is driving me nuts. I'm gonna have to cover it up, um, but we'll work with it. We'll we'll make we'll make something happen out of this. Um, if I have to cover it up or whatever. Uh, so I've got my Google Calendar off to the side, um, and let me. Go ahead and get started. There should be a big, okay, let's do this. Um, I gotta have something to cover that up. It's just gotta happen. So let's, I don't know if this is gonna be wide enough. It's not, we're gonna have to double it, cut it in half for something. The pink is just driving me nuts, man. Um, it, I've been kind of working around it for a while um, and I just can't anymore. So I, I've said this before, um, when I got this Happy Planner, I didn't get it in one of the big releases. So if you know, um, Happy Planner does a couple of releases a year. They usually do one like the end of February, beginning of March. I keep thinking it's coming up soon. Um, they do one, like their big one, um, so they do a spring one, they do kind of one each season, um, they do a teacher one, they do a fall release, which is usually a big one, and then they do a small winter release. Um, and then the, anyway, this last winter release, I switched to a big happy planner, um, a big dashboard heavy planner I should say because I had been using the big teacher um, and I needed to make the change because my job title or my job role my title too had changed um, and so I got this one because there was I'm like losing my train of thought I got this one it's the Grace Place art um, and I really like it. However, it is, it just has a lot of color and it's not for me. But I like it this way. I mean, it's like this way in the planner. I mean, you put it either way gonna put it this way because it covers up this box better this way no it doesn't actually so let's do it this way not straight there we go all right um okay let's see if I've got anything major going on on the 20th 
I will be out of the office at a math workshop. Our state is releasing new math standards for next school year. Um, and I'm going to finally learn it is March 20th. Um, and you know, they're not, <laughs> they're not making everything available until July 1st is what they're saying. So how are teachers supposed to plan for next year? Um, if they aren't releasing the stuff, because I don't know if you know, teachers work in the summer to plan their stuff. Um, and a lot of times we will work in June, like, so school will get out and we'll come back, um, a couple of days in June to get some stuff planned. But that is not going to happen if all the new stuff, the new units, all the things aren't ready then. Um, so that's frustrating. Very frustrating. Um, I understand that the standards are for that year and that the government's fiscal year starts at that time. But I need... <laughs> I need, I need um, them to not wait that long. I'm gonna need them to definitely not wait that long. Let's see. I don't know that I want that there. I think I want this one here. All right, I think I want that one there. And then I'm gonna add in this one here, like that. And then this can go here. that. All right. Um, and then this can go here. Yes. I'm putting in a sticker that says important over a thing that says important. Do I feel like that's a waste of a sticker? I do not. Um, this is going to say check it off. All right, I feel like, oh, stickers. Um, I have lots of space. Okay, so Monday I'm out of office. I'll put that in there. Um, Tuesday, report cards go home. That can go here. Okay. Um, and then Thursday, I have a webinar. All right. Um, and then like, it's time, it's March, but I mean, it'll be time to get ready for state testing before long. It's crazy. Crazy, I tell ya. Um, use hmm. those.
All right, I'm going to put this on Sunday. So if I need to get anything prepared for work next week, um, I'm not going to use those. I'm not going to use those. Um, I kind of want... I really want a big quote. I really want a big quote. Um... Is this going to be? Everything? I think it might be. Alright, let's go back to the here. And get something going. I really was going to use a top priority list over here. But I didn't get it done. Alright, let's go back to the the washies. And let's go ahead and put that there. There, I need to go next door and check on my neighbor. So I am making this video much earlier. Um, she has been to Mobile for Mardi Gras. Um, so that tells you how early I'm making this video. And I can't wait to hear all about it. Um, Maybe I'll, while still a little wild, not quite as raucous as New Orleans. Um, and y'all, I've been to New Orleans on New Year's. I cannot imagine how much crazier it could possibly be for um, for Mardi Gras because it it's that's something that it's something. Um, my. <laughs> My dad said that uh, his quote, his famous family quote is, uh, Jesus has never been on Bourbon Street, <laughs> um, which I still find highly amusing. Um, we went, it's been years ago, um, my family, we are Georgia Bulldogs. We were Georgia Bulldogs before the national championships. We were Georgia Bulldogs during the during the struggling dawn and years, if you know what that means. Um, so this is not a Johnny come lately. We've had, uh, my dad's had season tickets since before I was born and my husband and I went to Georgia. My dad went to Georgia, my brother went to Georgia, my daughter's at Georgia. <laughs> um, okay, that was not the point. The point is that um, we went for the SEC championship years ago when um, Georgia played Hawaii and it was, we went and spent for the game and for uh, New Year's, and it made me realize that that was uh, the first and last time that I needed to see Bourbon Street, <laughs> and that is not the life for me. Okay, um, here is my, my third, probably last monochromatic Happy Planner work spread for the month of March. I think I'm going to send next week off uh, on a on a um, sunshiny, bright, vibrant note. Um, but if you like this video, give it a like uh, down below. And I would love it if you subscribed and joined the community. So thanks for watching. I appreciate you being here. Hope that you find somewhere to be organized other than just your planner. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.